You gotta get one that's loose. Maybe you were just talking on one. What's up, you guys? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. We're playing a little morning Jenga. This is like a wood block Jenga. It's like a big Jenga, huh, Ollie? Yeah. Welcome back to our channel, you guys. Yeah. Thumbs up for Finn successfully pulling that out. And if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and join our family. The fam is having a fun time out on the patio today. I know, this is so much fun. They're so good at like taking turns now hey, and mama. like sharing. Mama, remember yeah. when we hey, went to Florida and, got, and saw this? No. We well, when you got it on oh, the bottom. We were um, at Playlist. Yeah, that was Oh, so Playlist fun. Live. Ollie, you remember playing this game at Playlist Live? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Remember when he did it all the way on the bottom? Mm -hmm. It fell. Careful, Finn. Remember that. All right. Oh, oh she did it. Did it. All there right. you go. Ollie's turn. Today is an exciting day because Finn's wearing <laughs> underwear, babe. <Yes. laughs> we put Finn in underwear today. And we are resuming his potty training. So hopefully that goes good and there are no accidents. The last time he was in underwear for the day at our house, he peed in my office, on my office couch, and it was not very fun. So we're hoping we have better results today. Karma, you search in the yard. Make sure there's nothing scary around, okay? All right, Ollie, it's your turn. You gotta be really, really gentle. You don't wanna knock the tower down, dude. I think you're gonna have to work a little bit lower. Oh, I don't think you can, can you No, no, that? you can't take those ones, Ollie. That one? And it's still fresh, but you can. You gotta lose. take from the bottom, okay? If none of them are loose, then you're gonna have to be like kind of get one out, like this one or something. Okay, here, go down here. And I'm gonna say, Why? I say this one. You gotta be really gentle. You gotta kind of shimmy it out. <laughs> oh, that one's moving. Oh, I don't think you should do that one. Though. Uh oh, uh oh. That one I feel like is gonna fall. Oh, careful, careful. Don't push it, don't push it. Just try and pull it out carefully. Pull it out slowly, Ollie. Pull it out slowly the rest of the way. It's moving. And Is it out? No. Pull it out. Oh. Finn, be careful. Oh. Don't let it fall on you. Oh. 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 That's okay. That's what happens. It all just falls. You did good. High five. Whoa. You did really good too, huh? Whoa. Now he's king of the tower blocks. Yeah. <laughs> So we have just been getting ready for our day today, uh, trying to clean up, and I'm super excited because I actually finally found my halo piece, which is an extension for my hair. So I did these really cool braids, which I don't think I've ever done. It's like two little fishtail braids. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks cute? Do you like it? No school today, which is always fun when you guys don't have to do school, huh? I Yes, these boys are getting ready for Halloween, and so they are actually watching Peter Rabbit, the Halloween special, because they are so excited for Halloween. It's only just the beginning of September, and they're like, it's Halloween. <laughs> are you guys gonna be dressing up for Halloween? Yeah. Probably the whole month, huh? Don't tell them what you're gonna be. It's a surprise. So we are gonna be probably dressing up a lot this October. I would love to know your suggestions down below of what you think we should be for Halloween, which costumes we should try, because you know we love to dress up. We do lots of costumes in the month of October, so let us know down below what you think we should dress up as during the month of October. But yeah, I think it's gonna be exciting, and it's just so cute how they get so excited for Halloween. I think it might be their favorite holiday even more than Christmas, but I don't know. Is Halloween your favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do you yeah. like it more than Christmas? Baby, baby, baby. What? Oh, how cute. Oh my goodness, it's a kitty cat. Yeah. How cute. <laughs> Beautiful day to be hanging out outside with the boys. We found a snake? Yeah! That's nuts, what kind of snake do you think it is? I don't know, I hope it's not a lateral snake. We were just uh, hanging out outside, minding our own business, and lo and behold, a snake decided to show up. You guys see it right there? I don't know, it looks like a little guy. He hasn't moved much. We're gonna have to call the master snake wrangler, huh? Go, Who should we call, Ollie, to come get the snake? Papa! Should yeah, we call Papa? Papa? Yeah. It's actually really interesting because we have not caught a lot of snakes this summer, have we? Normally we catch a ton more snakes, um, but there just haven't been as many, but now we've got one. I think we've had maybe one or two in the grass, which isn't the greatest place. I'd rather them be up here on the patio than on the grass, honestly, because then I can see them. He's not going anywhere though, is he? 
Comment down below what kind of snake do you guys think it is? Ollie, what kind of snake do you think it is? I don't know. I hope it's not a waddle snake. Ben, what kind of snake do you think it is? I don't know. I think it could be like a garter or maybe like a baby king snake. No, get, I don't know. No, garter snakes are poison. Oh, are they? Yeah. So we don't want it to be that. Yeah. And we really don't want it to be a rattlesnake. That's uh, a snake wrangler. Where are we wrangling oh. snakes from? All right, we got a snake over here. I don't know what kind, but we were just hanging out here on the patio. Where is he? Right underneath that toy. It's a rattlesnake. Is it? Oh no, that's not what we wanted, was it, Ollie? Yeah. Wait. Oh goodness. It looks small. Do you see it? Cause is it coiled or I don't really see how long it could be. Oh, he is not happy. Oh, it is a baby rattlesnake. Okay, boys, stay right there. Do not move. Jim, is that a baby rattlesnake? Yeah, I hear him. Wow. All right, stay clear. I gotta get a different grip on him here. Yeah. Oh, that's not good, guys. Okay, I just got a rattlesnake. What do you think, Ollie? That's not good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely don't want baby rattlesnakes hanging out on our property. Oh my gosh, not to mention right underneath the kids' toys, right? Whoa, look at that, you guys. Crazy. Jim, what are you doing? I want to re-grip him and get closer to his head so that he's not as much yeah. of a danger. Oh, you hear that? He hasn't, he stopped rattling. Do you see that, that Ollie, the way he was at, hitting that sword? Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta stay- There's Poison on the sword now. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna be able to play with the sword anymore, okay? I was trying to pin his head so I could get a better grip. Hey, Ollie, I am so proud of you for staying calm and letting me know there was a snake over here and then backing away. You did the right thing, okay? okay. I'm gonna regrip, so be careful, guys. He gets out. He gets out. All right, we're gonna climb up here. <laughs> All right. Got a good grip. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Smash that thumbs up button for Papa, you guys. He's our master snake wrangler. Not good. I thought I got rid of all these guys. I know. Yeah, that's not very good when you find a baby rattlesnake on your property. So we're gonna have to call someone to actually come and take care of it because it's kind of out of our hands. The thing about baby rattlesnakes is they're super poisonous and they cannot control their venom. So if they bite you, they can actually inject you with a ton more venom than they normally would and they can kill you. Always when you guys are, if you guys have snakes in your area, be sure whenever you guys go out and play, you guys always check the yard or check your toys. Ollie did a really great job. He spotted that snake right away and he was able to tell me and I was able to get them somewhere safe and uh, make sure that it wasn't gonna hurt them. So that was crazy. Bitter, please, I do, I do not want it to bite me. Oh baby, it won't bite you. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna put it somewhere safe and someone's gonna come and get it, okay? Oh my God, okay, so I just got home and Brian was just letting me know what happened and my dad's here to fill me in too. There was a snake? Yes, it, it was a bad one, it was a rattlesnake. It was a rattlesnake. Yeah, it was right, <sighs> right So here. it was over here with the kids' toy stuff. We've cleaned up this area a little bit. Yeah, so we actually called someone to come pick it up because we definitely do not want a rattlesnake anywhere near our yard, but there are lots of them around here. Yeah, so I mean, every day I'm gonna come over here and move <laughs> all this stuff. I know, it, that's the scariest part is that the snakes are, or this snake was playing in my kids stuff and we did find one a few months ago in my kids area too so we're always out here with the boys when they're playing but it's almost not enough because brian was out here when they were playing keeping an eye and luckily they know if they see a snake back up yeah. They so they understand well. that, but it's still so scary because you don't know if they're gonna go for a toy and the snake is gonna be caught off guard. Yeah. I can't believe that it came up here. We actually, we have cameras and we checked to see when, how Actually, long it's been up here. All the cameras. We got cameras outside, inside, and I did not see him get over here anyway. Yeah. So we have, just so you guys know, we have like a vibration in the ground to scare them, which obviously doesn't help a ton. We've got fencing, which they can probably get over if they really wanted to. And we've got the powder that's supposed to. We're doing everything we can, and we've got dogs constantly running this yard. We keep the brush at least 10 feet back. Yeah. So they have oh, to yeah. cross open areas. How many is that this year? I mean, this year, that's at least three. That's two here. It was one down by the gate, remember? Yeah, but. so that's really scary. I hate that we have rattlesnakes, but it is just kind of part of living in Southern California. But I'd love to know if you guys have any suggestions on what we can do to kind of help prevent. Just short of releasing a mongoose in the backyard. <laughs> He's about that, to okay. do that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard if we buy a king snake, put it in the backyard. 
Let the seed What if we just have a king snake in this backyard? In order to buy one, it would be domesticated. Mm. I don't know if it's make it in the wild. We gotta find a... King snakes are pretty. They, they, they got the king attitude. snakes are known to kill rattlesnakes and yeah. get rid of them. Scare them off. So, um, yeah, it's so, so scary. I hate that we have rattlesnakes. I hate that my kids are in the backyard with rattlesnakes. And even though we're back here with them, they the rattlesnakes could be back here too. We do everything we can to prevent it, but there's just no guarantee ever. Like, there could be a rattlesnake in the grass right there. I have no idea. And they don't really, like, attack you unless you threaten it. But you don't know if you're going to threaten it just by, like, walking close to it. So, super scary. Really kind of a bummer. But anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and end this video. It's been kind of a crazy day. The boys are kind of chilling in the house for now. We need a little break from the outside. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up for Papa for helping us out, figuring out what it was. Yeah. And hopefully you guys can give us some su suggestions down below in the comments of what we can do to kind of help or prevent. Should we just move? We need to move. I'm Should we just burn the, this house down? I'm the rattlesnake to move. Yeah, can we move the rattlesnake? Pretty much the this is their turf, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Boop.